Hey y'all, I am back with a DIY embellishment video and this time I'm creating crepe paper clusters. So if you guys saw one of my first uh, DIY embellishment videos, I created crepe paper flowers along with uh, like pinwheel bloom flowers and I got that idea from crepe paper. So in this video I'm going to do something very uh, similar at the beginning and then I'm going to switch it up um, towards the end. So I the reason I want to do this video is because I'm changing it up a bit and I'm doing some things different, of course, but then um, also I was playing around on my craft desk and I was just kind of putting some things together and put it through my sewing machine and loved the way that it turned out, so I thought I would share how these come out. So right now, all I've done is I've uh, gathered some ephemera and then I'm also using powdered paper to like kind of make some of my own ephemera. Um, I just use a square punch right there to cut some of that really pretty Hello Love paper up, and then now I am getting using my butterfly punch. So some of it is pre-made ephemera, like just from packs that I want to use up, and this is a great way to use up some of that like leftover ephemera that you guys have in your stash. And then um, some of it, like I said, is patterned paper cut apart, and so just using those, uh, like if you have scraps of that left over and you have some images that you want to cut out or would be cute to cut out and you don't want to waste it, this is a great project for that. So I'm basically cutting crepe paper into roughly, I'm going to say like 11 inch, 11 to 12 inch strips, and I'm going to accordion fold all of these, and I'm going to do two of them on camera, and then I'm going to do the rest off camera. So I'm going to cut those up. Some of these are going to be no-sew and some of them are going to be sewn. So you guys will see. Well, everything in the end is actually sewn on, um, like once I put everything together. But for the most part, like at the beginning, I'll kind of show you the version where you can just um, fold them together and make it a flower. And then where you could actually ripple it up like I'm doing right here in the um, in this clip. So my husband was filming and... Um, the lighting wasn't great, but I, I wanted to show you guys how I just stick it very roughly and it's not in any sort of like technique through, uh, the, through the sewing machine. So I sewed two of those like 11 or 12 inch strips together, not really together. I sewed them like, I just kind of fed them at the same, like one right after the other. So there was still a little bit of a gap. So I used my adhesive to just simply, um, kind of bridge that gap or whatever, or adhere that gap together. Um, or the two ends, and then I adhered the, uh, the other side of the two ends, so I'm doing the same thing again. There's the gap. I'm going to put adhesive in the middle, and then I'm going to put adhesive on the end and put that, those together, and then I just simply stand it up and then squeeze it towards the middle, and you have to play with it a little bit to get it to, like, the way you want it, but it does end up um, looking pretty much similar. Like, they all pretty much looking sim end up looking similar once you're done with it. So I slowed this portion down because I wanted you guys to see how I did this. This is the no sew version of um, the crepe paper flowers. I have shown this in a different video before, so you guys can go back and check that out if you want. Um, but I'm doing pretty much the same thing. The difference is I'm not using hot glue because I want to stick this whole thing through my sewing machine um, at the end. So I'm not going to use hot glue on any of this stuff. I'm just going to use my dot runner adhesive. And... You can see that it's a little bit harder to work with when you don't sew them because you have like more space that you have to hold together. Um, but I think they end up turning out very similar. So, you know, if you don't have a sewing machine and you want to make these, you can for sure do that. I, you know, at the end, of course, I sew all this together, but you don't have to do that. That's just like the whole point of this video is to show you how I made them in clusters and how I like kind of did something different. But if you just wanted to do like I did just there and leave and leave these clusters all together without sewing right on top, you can do that. Um, so I have to fiddle it with it a little bit because it didn't look the way I wanted it to. And I also wanted to trim this because it was a little bit bigger than I wanted it. I don't trim any of the other ones because um, I mean, for the sake of time in the video, I just didn't. But if you you can totally trim yours like to the um, to the size you want them. So now all I'm doing is layering and that's all I'll do pretty much the rest of the video. And you guys will see, um, how I, um, did those four blooms or not the blooms, the four crepe paper flowers. And now here's where, you know, the clustery, the clusters start. And this is like kind of the different, um, portion of the video. 
So all I'm doing is I'm just folding it roughly, folding the crepe paper roughly, and I'm just adding different ephemera right on top. So my idea for this was because there, and I've explained something very similar like this before. So oftentimes when I'm making layouts, I want something very detailed on my layout, but like I don't really want to take the time to get all those supplies out. And um, a lot of the stuff is on my desk, but some of the stuff is, you know, not. And when I'm in the mood to make a layout, I don't always want to like go into all this detail. Sometimes I just want to like put a bunch of stuff together. And when you have pre-made embellishments like this, like it really makes a difference and it adds that extra detail to the layout that maybe you wouldn't have put on if you were, um, you know, just in the middle of, of the process of the layout itself. So I hope that makes sense. But so what, what all the other part to this is sometimes like we want like a little embellishment cluster and um, this kind of gives you the idea of like, okay, it kind of gives you a starting point. So if you have one of these, you can kind of say, okay, I want to go with this particular color scheme or I want to go with this route of using these different um, types of embellishments. So like if it's the white with the black and white butterfly and the pink, you might want to make a really airy and like fresh layout. I don't know. I'm just, that's kind of like my thought. But anyway, I really loved the way these turned out. And like you can see there, I'm just like crinkling it up and just adding, like I added a tag right on top of that and I'm adding little ephemera pieces. And then that's pretty much it. Some of these pieces I cut with my, um, or I punched with punches. Some of them were just like, like I mentioned before, were ephemera pieces. And then um, I think, I think I'm, and some of them were pre-cut, like some that I just had on, in my stash. So all I'm doing is going back and forth, just folding some neatly, folding some roughly, just kind of, I'm doing them all different. And then you guys will see final photos at the end. There is one that I do here in a second and I make it a lot longer than the other ones because sometimes I think you have that space you want to fill up on your layout that you're not really, and you're not really sure like what, what to put there, like whether it's at the top or the bottom and you want to kind of bring the whole layout together. And that was my thought in making them, making it a little bit one that's like kind of longer and um like more vertically I guess or more vertical sorry I'm getting distracted I'm getting distracted by my own video sometimes it's like hard to watch what I'm doing so I'm thinking to myself what in the world are you doing but that I'm trying to do a voiceover too and I get distracted so here's the longer one that I was talking about and I'm just simply um placing a bunch of different embellishments like the whole ways across and then I'm gonna um, sew that all together and believe me when I say these don't look great right now but once you add that thread like something magical happens I don't know something completely changes and that's like my feeling with sewing but I just sometimes I wonder like what I did before I had a sewing machine as far as I mean I don't sew on every layout and I don't sew on every embellishment but in fact there was a long time I probably went without sewing but Sometimes with stuff like this, like it makes a huge difference when you add um, stitching. So even if you can hand stitch, I think it makes a big difference to a page. It's just extra detail. You have to, like for me, I'd have to have to get up and go to my sewing machine and like it's like two feet away. But but you know if you can save the time and do these all at once and stick them all through your sewing machine at once, then you have all of these in your stash and you just grab form when you're making a layout. So that's my thought, and that's just the way that I scrapbook. And the, if I have these detailed things already made up, then I think my layouts turn out a lot better because I'm more likely to like use them. So here's the final um, result of all of these sewn. And just kind of going through them pretty quickly and showing you how they turned out, which I thought they turned out so cute. Like I can't wait to use these on some layouts coming up. And then if you guys have any questions, let me know. Some final photos are coming up. It's not the great, the greatest lighting because I did this video at night and I had to take the picture at night too under my light. And so it wasn't the best, but um, I'll probably get some better photos and post them on Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and I hope you guys have a great uh, rest of the weekend.